Fanatic One. Uh, today I want to do a short little video. I've had this requested a lot, a lot, a lot. Where did you get the parts to uh, pressure test and vacuum test two cycle engines? Um, I tell everybody that I got it from Echo, which is not a lie. Then they say, well, where did you get all the extra pieces? And I say, well, I got them from steel. So what I've got here is the Echo kit that I bought ten, about 10 years ago. You can see that. Uh, the part number is uh, 91066. That part number is no longer valid. The new part number is going to be 9104 something. I'll put a link in the description below. 91046 or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. I probably should have done some more research before I started filming. But let's get this thing opened up and I'll show you what I have inside it. Uh, I'll show you what it comes with, what it doesn't come with. Uh, we'll start right up here at the top and uh, as you can tell these little T-bars have reverse threads on them and they're for pulling uh, limiter caps. Over here to the right, I mean the left, there's just some business cards that I've put in there just to uh, gap flywheel magnetos. It does not come with carburetor adjusting screwdrivers. I've actually in, put these two in the kit. Does not come with the rubber triangles. Now I got these from steel. You can get those from steel. I don't know the part number, but you can make these yourself out of some rubber and does real good. Um, block off plates for your carburetor. Comes with uh, one of those. I bought an extra one just to have an extra. Comes with the fitting for the spark plug. It's got a little nipple on the end to hook up your vacuum gauge. This piece of rubber, I've made it out of a, uh, it's got the holes in it for the muffler. I was working on one and I couldn't feed the rubber down in there so I took a piece of rubber and I just cut it and uh, made it to where I could feed the muffler bolts down through there. Spark plug adapters, 14 millimeter. Uh, what is the small uh, steel uh, spark plug? I think it's 12 millimeter spark plug threads on some of that stuff. Don't quote me on that. If you know, put a comment below. Carburetor spacers to take up the slack of the carburetor whenever you are doing your pressure test. Moving along, we have the flywheel puller and all of the attaching bolts right here. This goes uh, on the forcing screw of the uh, flywheel puller. You put these down on the flywheel to keep it from marring up the flywheel. I did not buy this. I mean, this did not come in the kit. I bought this separately. It's just a spark plug chaser. Piston stop. Uh, flywheel, or no, excuse me, it's, uh, these are clutch removal tools. This is for like the CS670, uh, probably the 340 and some of the smaller uh, saws and uh, trimmers that come with the clutches. Does not come with a Zama carburetor adjusting uh, plate. This is for adjusting the carburetor on a Zama carburetor. It uh, adjusts your flapper height or your needle lever height. comes with a PET uh, 4000 spark tester. 
does not come these flywheel pullers, these are for a steel. Like I said, I've put some, uh, you know, a few parts in here that doesn't come with it. It comes with a uh, the Echo tachometer. Part number on it, I think you can get it separately, but uh, I don't know what the part number is, excuse me. Nope, it's not on there. It's, it's like a PET 1000 or something like that. Or comes with a compression gauge. And lastly, it comes with the thumb pump. A lot of people ask me about this thumb pump. And I don't know, if, I don't think you can get that separately. You have to, if you want that, you have to buy the kit. So that's pretty much everything in that kit, plus a little bit. So if you have any questions about this kit, let me know. More Medic One. Have a great day.